The Mi-28 NM weapons range has been upgraded with the integration of the new 9M123M Chrysantima VM anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, developed by the KBM Kalama Company. Up to four of these two Blanche supersonic ATGMs can be carried in launchers on the right wing of the new Havik derivative, each with a maximum range of 5.4 nm, 10 km, and having an armor penetration of 1,100 mm. The Chrysantima VM, originally developed for launching ground based anti armor platforms, employs a dual guidance system employing semi active laser guidance and semi active radar guidance. The latter required the deployment of a dedicated targeting radar housed in a pod under the wing of the Havoc port and was deemed useful in conditions of poor visibility when laser guidance was deemed ineffective. The 136.6 pounds missile has a warhead caliber of 155 millimeters, weighs 62 kilograms, and has an average velocity of 1,312 feet per second, 400 meters per second. The armor-piercing round is equipped with a tandem-type warhead, while a high-explosive 29.6 pounds, 13.5 kilograms. Virgin is also offered for use against semi-hard and soft targets. The Mi-28NM may also deploy the new 9M121 Ataka VM, Ataka-1, Virgin, which is equipped with laser beam guidance guidance and replaces the older Ataka V with the radio command guidance already requested. This missile is much more affordable than the Chrysantima V and has a maximum range of 19,680 feet, 6,000 meters. The anti-armor version features a 16.3 pounds, 7.4 kilograms, tandem warhead with a telescopic design, capable of piercing 850 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor after defeating reactive armor. There are two additional versions of the Ataka-1 in production, equipped with high-explosive-slash-thermoric or explosive-slash-fragmentation warheads and using proximity fuses to increase lethality. The latter, 9M121F1, is said to be effective against soft and semi-hard ground targets and can also be used to engage air targets, while the former, 9M121F, is designed for use against personnel in the open or placing in buildings, bunkers, or caves. The Mi-28NM's air-to-ground capability is further enhanced with the ability to utilize the 221 pounds, 100 kilograms, 551 pounds, 250 kilograms, and 1,102 pounds, 500 kilograms. High explosive bombs considered height independent for greater lethality against hardened targets, while more options, the scope of undirected regulation also covers ZAB series napalm cylinders. The Mi 28NM is also set to receive the KBN 9 M336 Verba heat seeking air to air missile with a range of up to 3.2 Nm, 6 kilometers, fired from a four round Strelitz VM launcher unit. The Verba missile has increased lethality and better guidance than its predecessors. The 9K310 IGLA-1, 9K38 IGLA, and 9K338 IGLA-S. It retains the basic layout of the IGLA-S, along with most of its design features, but is equipped with a highly sensitive nitrogen-cooled infrared seeker, which acts in three bands simultaneously for greater resistance to jamming. The Mi-28NM retained the two of 42's 30mm gun, with a maximum rate of fire of 900 revolutions per minute and a maximum effective aiming range of 13,200 feet, 4,000 meters. But in an upgraded MPPU-28 nose turret, equipped with dual decoy capability and 500 rounds, along with most of its design features, but is equipped with a highly sensitive nitrogen-cooled infrared seeker, which acts in three bands simultaneously for greater resistance to jamming. The new air-to-surface multi-role missile dubbed LMUR, Light Multi-Role Integrated Missile, has been integrated on the Mi-28NM and was revealed in public for the first time in June 2019. The missile was shown being tested from the Mi-28NM prototype on the Russian Ministry of Defense's Zvezda TV channel, but was blacked out on video footage to hide design details, and so far little data has been revealed. According to Mi-28NM Chief Designer Vaily Sturbina, this was the first Russian-made helicopter-launched multi-role missile capable of fulfilling both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface roles, equipped with a seeker in the nose for terminal guidance, but he refused to reveal the developer.
and maker of the missile. 